Mr. Vincent Hailulu, the Chief Executive Officer of National Housing Enterprise. Good evening, sir. Good evening. And welcome to Good Talk with the Nation. Thank you very much. Secondly, I'd like to introduce to you Councillor Lena Jonah, the Vice President of the Association of Local Authorities in Namibia. Good evening, Councillor, and welcome to Talk with the Nation. Good evening. Then I'd like to introduce to you Ms. Edith Banga from the Namibia Shack Dwellers Association. Good evening, ma'am, and welcome to Talk with the Good Nation. Good evening, sir. Last but not least, we are joined by the Manager of Research and Competitor Intelligence at the First National Bank, Mr. Mamene Kalili. Good evening, Mr. Kalili, and welcome to Talk with the Nation. Good evening. We'd like to start by asking the first question. Obviously, we have already sketched for you the scenario. Namibia is in dire need of housing for most Namibians, or for a great number of Namibians. Can you quickly talk about why is this housing crisis so significant and what brought it about? Mr. Hailulu, I'll start with you. Yeah, well, the, the housing crisis is, is a reality in the country, and there are factors that have contributed to that state of affairs. Um, if we look at the supply chain of housing in terms of uh, what it takes to deliver a product out there, you always start with a foundational asset, which is land. Now, land is available in its raw form, but you don't have enough service land. That has tended to be the key bottleneck in the whole housing delivery system in the country as far as I'm concerned. And it has come as a result of less and less investment in service infrastructure at the municipality level. To I'd like to hear yeah. from you, from a local council perspective. You come obviously from the Ongwena region. What is it like for you from a land delivery perspective, sir? And specifically from your members that you represent in Allen? Land delivery specifically. <coughs> yes, thank you very much. Land delivery specifically in our members, the local authorities, or as Alans, it had been a problem uh, since some years ago. It had not been addressed. Uh, one of the problems could be the, the instrument, the legal instrument that we have in the delivery land in Namibia, have not been uh, looked at. So uh, basically, it's legislation. Uh, legislation, yes. Ma'am? I Your think perspective from uh, the Shack Dwellers Association? Uh, as well, uh, uh, ourselves as the Shack Dwellers Federation of Namibia. I agree with the two colleagues that are talking about the land delivery process. There's no developed land. It's scarce to have a land to, to be been developed. In so much that it's difficult for us as a Shack Dwellers community to build our house itself which is really, when we come, we come to, us, to us building the houses, we are building with a low, very low amount of, 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 I mean, of the loan. But if the land is not available, really we'll be having a problem, a shortage of houses in Namibia. Mr. Kalili, your perspective, please, sir. Well, I would agree with uh, all the other present, uh, speakers that I spoke earlier today, uh, but I'd just also like to add that uh, if you just look at most of the municipalities, they've serviced all the easy pieces of land to service. So what is left is the really tough, the hilly stuff, the, the, the pieces of land that have got a lot of rocks in it, and it's very hard to, to, to dig the trenches and the like. So that's going to cost a lot more money, and it's got cost implications. And we've seen the cost of land going up, and it's also got to do with the, with the inputs that are going in. You, to design a sewerage system is not as cheap as it was 10 years ago. You know, the uh, demands on power, houses are using a lot more power nowadays as they did uh, 10 years ago, for instance. So uh, your power uh, distribution to the these new neighborhoods that you can establish, you know, it's going to cost you quite a lot and the uh, transformers are running into a couple millions. And also municipalities are battling on how do you actually price a, uh, a transformer, for instance, if you pay 20 million for a transformer today and you're going to sell two, uh, 200 urbans, yes. do you spread that cost of the transformer over those 200 houses? But uh, the total capacity of that transformer is maybe 500 houses. How do you bring in those additional uh, uh, costs to the additional houses? And uh, how do you capitalize that amount? Because remember, if, you, if you're going to invest money, you've got to also include your cost of capital. And those calculations seem to be a bit difficult and uh, holding back the municipality somewhat. So 